Hi guys, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be the daily reading for uh, Thursday, May 30th. I was going to put it off till later. And it's the funniest thing. I just finished all the other readings that I had to do. I think it was like seven readings for the rest of the weeklies. And uh, hold on, let me pause, fill up the oil just a bit. Yeah, so I was going to stop and then uh, the lights started flickering, right? Off and on, which is spirit saying, okay, get to it. So I'm going to finish it, all right? This is the daily reading i was going to do it later let's do it now spirit guides want to do this now so let's see what's the reading today i mean for tomorrow please spirit guides for the 30th <clears throat> for the 30th so this is for thursday may 30th what is the love and romance reading for may 30th please for tomorrow what message is there <clears throat> for may 30th for whoever needs to hear this what messages are there, please, Spirit Guides, for... There we go. See, Queen of Cups. Somebody is, I am love. I am full of love. I am open. I am healed. Spiritual, intuitive, deep feeling. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in. This could be a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody from a distance who's been watching. They like what they see is what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Cups. She could be in love, even. Any other messages? Any other messages? The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who wants to find their partner to build their kingdom with. This is the most stable, solid knight out of all of the knights. Then they become the King of Pentacles which would be Taurus energy. Do we have any other messages, please, Spirit Guides? And I know you do because it's been so good. The connection to the Spirit Guides, Sekhmet helping out. Oh yeah, I'm wearing my uh, sun, sun ring. I know it's tacky. I don't care. I love it. And then Carnelian for Sekhmet, the sun ring for Sekhmet, and uh, Labradorite for taking action. All right, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have, Spirit Guides? Oh my God, like... Their segment, again, I told you the sun energy, but I'm just going to put that on the side for a minute. The sun and judgment. Have we not been getting sunny cards every single day for the dailies? Eight of swords. Fear, insecurity. What is this about? <sighs> Something to do. This is Taurus energy, but it doesn't have to be. This is the Hierophant. Commitment. Fear of commitment. Is that what this is? This is faith. Faith that leads to long-standing institutions like marriage the government, the church, things like that. Now we got the sun, which is, look how happy she is. Oh my God, look at the hands and all of them. And these hands are tied up here in the mirror, the reflection. It's saying this person knows that they have to do something. They had, they made their mind up. They made the decision. It's almost like they're going to force themselves to move forward because they're terrified or they're scared or they have insecurities or they're worried about other, what other people are going to say. Look so composed, but looking in the mirror, then you're seeing reflected back to you all these different opinions and things. It's not like they're going to stop you, but it's, it's something where you're factoring it in and taking it into uh, consideration, right? Like defensive living almost. And the sun card is saying that everything is going to be out in the light of day. This is going to bring joy, abundance, happiness. This is a decision that's been made with clarity, spirituality, openness, and love. All positive intentions behind this decision. There's still a little bit of fear and hesitation. Judgment speaks to somebody from your past coming back. Because it's about raising the dead. As aside from the ascension and the liberation and the wake-up call. Anything else, please? It's like something clicks. You see what you're supposed to do from being open. And then now <clears throat> they call it the light bulb moment. Okay, here we go. Look, again with the hands. Again with the hand, it flew onto the Knight of Pentacles. Victory, level up. Being well received here, what you don't see is all these hands cheering, rooting for you. Some of them might be jealous a little bit. That's That comes with this card, I swear. But this is a level up, achievement, wands, knight of wands, doing something you're passionate and creative about. Or it could be somebody who's an actual fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, hermit. This is the spiritual, doing the inner work. The hermit 
in love is somebody who has their candle lit for somebody. They're waiting. If it's not going to be that person's level of quality, then they're okay to stay single and then in comes the knight of cups somebody wants to offer love and here we get the lion energy again Sekhmet showing up again strength strength this is leo energy it's strength energy there's the heart it it's a thing okay it's a whole vibe right now this lioness strength fire divine feminine solar energy it's it i'm telling you this is what i've been channeling this is what i've been getting all right. And seven of pentacles. This is nurturing a relationship, wanting to make sure that the roots are deep, right? The connection is deep, not wanting something frivolous that looks good at the top. And then there's like nothing much at the bottom. Now I want to talk about when I was going for one of my long walks I do every day yesterday. There, was it yesterday or the day before? It doesn't matter. It was very windy. And all these tall trees that were planted along the sidewalk, I mean, super tall, there were several of them that had been toppled. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, the entire tree? Like, how does that work? Because they were regular, not, not regular trees. They were enormous. And when you looked, it was laughable. The, 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 the roots were like nothing. That's why they toppled over. And what's my point? My point is, right, when you have relationships, like when you see these tall trees, when I was walking by, I was like, wow, that must have taken a long time to achieve that. And then when you look beneath the surface and you look at the roots, you're like, oh my God, for real? Like that's so shallow. Like that that's nothing, right? Like no wonder it fell over. Like why would anybody even do that? What a waste of time. This is saying that somebody's taking the time to cultivate something meaningful and deep, right? So that the roots grow first, there's just signs of life right now that they're nurturing. So this is wanting something that's a deep connection that leads to the Ten of Pentacles, which is very fitting that they made this card like this. It's, it's brilliant. Ten of Pentacles is the uh, partner, the kids, the grandkids, the dogs, the grandparents overlooking the whole scene in the estate. And it's like speaks, speaks to solid foundation in love and romance, a legacy. So this is somebody who's trying to build something big, they're not trying to have fast love. They're not trying to play around. And even if it takes time, even if they are just friends right now or whatever, it's something they want to put energy into to make it grow and bloom into something that is going to be super stable and invincible. All right. And then we've got the devil underneath that. And I always say new level, new devil. And so every time things are going well, I, I quote the karma, but too, obstacles are a sign of success. And anytime you're getting a major level up, you'll see the devil. Three of pentacles, somebody from the past going, Hey, give me another chance. I want to come back. They're trying to cultivate a third party relationship. Some, oh, I've been really sad without you. Out of nowhere, it's gonna, it wants to like, you know, come in like a heart attack thunderbolt into your life because you've been doing so well, you know, healing. You have the clarity. You're working towards a goal. Yeah. Your self love, right? And this is what's going to end up happening. I would ignore the devil energy. All right. So let's pull some love oracle cards. It's toxic. Dependency. All right. This is the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Can we please get some love oracle messages for the 30th, May 30th, Thursday, please, Spirit Guides? What does, what do we need to know for the 30th? What message is there? What love messages are there for the 30th? Any, okay, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So it's saying make the effort. These cute, adorable little kids with chubby cheeks. What are those fruits? Oh, cherries. Are those cherries? They're cherries. That's cute. That's so cute. So it might be somebody from your past, a childhood sweetheart. I don't know. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Make the effort. A new love. Make the effort. For whoever needs to hear this. Who needs to hear this? Who needs love guidance for tomorrow? What do they need to know, spirit guides? What, what advice do you have? Even if it's someone else, what do they need to know? Thank you so much. This is for Thursday, May 30th. Love messages for Thursday, May 30th. Anything else? 
Okay, Spirit's so like, what are you talking about? Okay. Is it the new love? Let's okay, let's clarify this. New love. What what do they need to know? It says make the effort and new love. What do they need to know? What other guidance is there? How would they know who this know who this person is? Spirit guides. Any other messages for love? Any other messages? Okay, it says you deserve love, you're lovable, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right, so you deserve love, you're lovable, and free yourself from the mental um, blocks, okay? For whatever, I don't know if it's an X or whatever, okay, or fear. Free yourself. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Enjoy. That's it. I'm leaving it with that one. And now let's pull an oracle card. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use something light and breezy. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to use the crystal deck. These are quick. 10 minutes, not bad. This is the daily crystal inspiration cards. Can we get a card, please, for Thursday, May 30th, Spirit Guides? Can we get a card for Thursday, May 30th? What do we need to know for Thursday, May 30th? Thursday, May 30th. Thank you so much. Okay. Aquamarine, go with the flow. These are all aquamarine. Aquamarine is saying, release the need for control and chill out and relax. Be at ease. It's heart chakra healing. It's, this is all that watery energy too, along with the heart chakra. Carnelian. Carnelian. Feed your creativity. That Sekhmet's energy. Let's put her under the sun. That's her stone. So, and Aquamarine is saying, um, take it easy. Relax. Okay, and enjoy sun energy with the carnelian creativity passion fire wands energy water and heart chakra healing energy now i want to use a oh, i have to use this one i want to use the divine feminine oracle cards again let's see what we get today i'm not going to make any requests beautiful goddesses do we have any messages for any spiritual guidance for as many people as we can reach for Thursday, May 30th, please. Thank you so much for Thursday, May 30th. Any spiritual guidance for Thursday, May 30th? Any spiritual guidance for Thursday, May 30th, please. What do we need to know for Thursday, May 30th? What do we need to know for Thursday, May 30th? Thank you. She wanted to come out last time. Yesterday's reading, she was right under Sekhmet. Akilanda, the goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. She's, it's like the wounded healer almost, right? She's always broken, right? And, and, and that's her power. She's never like not in pain or not, not, you know, knowing what the hurt and suffering and being broken is like. Because sometimes I feel like it's something about the energy of when you heal or when you overcome some obstacle or you've leveled up, that you lose touch with that experience. So for her, the compassion she has is almost like she's always in that state. Lilith. Oh, yeah. The first woman, I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. If that's not the most girl power card with Lilith and Hedwana's underneath that, the high priestess, I am one with my soul. My soul is a legacy of love, but we're not going to go that deep. We're going to go with these two. And I'm going to read um, not the background of the goddess, but just her oracle message. So Akilanda is uh, not in alphabetical order. So it's she's in the... Indian deities, 96. 96. It says, so it says here, um, many of us exert tremendous energy in the effort to not break or fall apart. We resist our grief, our heartbreak, or we deny the need to change until the choice no longer feels like it's ours. Something sideswipes us in our ordinary life and shatters who we think we are and how we identify ourselves. Here's what Akilanda reminds us. Vulnerability is our greatest strength. If we are always broken, we can never break. Akilanda is the most intimate and personally powerful goddess because she meets us in those moments when we can feel most alone. 
most exposed and most afraid. She models how to thrive in the midst of change. She uses pain to joyfully and purposely, purposefully transform. She sees everything as an opportunity to release what isn't serving her, and she knows that being broken isn't a failure or something we should avoid. It's actually the whole point. We are here to le let our ideas of ourselves go up in flames so that beneath the ashes, the soft core of who we truly are arises. And so that we remember that it's not the heart that ever breaks, it's the ego. The heart only ever expands. Oh, that's lovely. Soul voice meditation. What heartbreak can I see now as an opportunity to expand? Intention, everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. And then Lilith. Thank you, Goddess Akilanda. Now let's move on to Lilith. And I'm going to pull out an African Goddess Rising card too because it's a different energy and vibe, but it's still important. They're so active. I have to, I have to pull a card. So let's see. Lilith. And that deck is very short. Um, 142. So it says with Lilith. When your soul selects her card, Lilith asks, what should, what would happen if you left everything behind? She wonders what prevents you from getting to experience all that you desire. Is it you? Is it an idea of someone you have to be? Is it society's definition of what it means to be a woman? Lilith asks the questions that sometimes never fully reach the light of consciousness. Lilith is unclaimed. She's the ruler of her body and soul. And she reminds us that we are too. And not only that, we have a sacred obligation to be the body's fierce protector. If I were entirely equal to everyone else, to every man and every angel, like some male, uh, in brackets, what would I choose for myself, for my life? I see, if I see myself as worthy as the first woman, and she was, you know, before Eve, Lilith was the first woman. Adam wanted her to be, you know, uh, subdued or sub, sub, what is it, beneath him, subjugated. And she's like, no, we were both made at the same time. We're equal. And then she left off with an archangel. Okay, anyways. If I see myself as worthy as the first woman ever created by the divine, what more would I ask for? Am I living the life I desire? Am I actually fulfilled sexually in my current relationship? Are there aspects of my sexuality I haven't been able to face and voice? Lilith refused to settle. She answered all these questions within her and took action on the truth she uncovered. Lilith demanded that she meet with what she really desired. And she's here to demand that we all do the same. Soul voice meditation. What does the life I truly desire look like? Intention. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. And I'm going to say it. I just... It, I can hear the song in my head right now, the It's Raining Men song. By, uh, it was redone by Jerry Hallowell. And you know the part where it goes, she took up heaven, she shook up heaven or she went to heaven or I don't know, whatever, and did what she had to do. Uh, that's what I was getting the vibe of, okay? And it's not to go and get every single guy. It's talking about finding the right one. All right, so Abiola Abrams, African Goddess Rising. That's the energy I just got. Thank you, Lilith. Let's get one last goddess card. This is the African Goddess Rising deck by Abby Yola Abrams. What beautiful goddess is there? I'll tell you right now, Ngami has been coming out three times in a row. I would not be surprised if she came out again. Talking about not playing small. But anyways, I'm, I'm not asking her to. I'm just saying it came out three times. I'm leaving this entirely up to spirit. Spirit Guides, what do we have for Thursday, May 30th, please? What do we have for Thursday, May 30th? In love and romance, or generally, whatever we need to hear. Thank you so much. What beautiful goddess message is there for Thursday, May 30th? For Thursday, thank you. It says, Queen Ya Asantewa, level up. And on the bottom, we've got Tituba, feeling safe. Oh, some kind of like safety issue okay let's see and i'm gonna put here queen ya asantewa we'll read her next and then tatuba feeling safe i'm gonna put akilanda over here lilith over here asantewa over here and Tatuba over here. Can you see her? Yeah. Okay. So number 39, level up with Ya Asantewa. 39. It's really quick. Goddess of leveling up. 
It says uh, she's from Ashanti, Ghana, Temple Queens, Element Bush. Queen Ya Asantewa was a mother, farmer, and the warrior queen who led the War of the Golden Stool. The Golden Stool was the throne of the Ashanti Empire, holds the regent's kra or life force energy. Her guidance, raise your standards. A leap forward for one is a leap forward for the tribe. Your choices can raise the frequency of your community and the planet. Embodiment, time to level up. This is your season for a quantum leap. You have prepared for this. Life does not have to be linear and neither does growth. A quantum leap feels drastic and huge, but the secret is that quantum leaps happen little by little. So what inspired action helps you level up? Connecting to spirit with rituals, movement, meditation, and visualization is a great start. Goddess declaration, divine timing is on my side. Thank you, Goddess Yas and Tewa. Now let's move on to Goddess Tetuba, number four. And that's the last card for the day. Goddess of feeling safe. Barbados, Guyana, and Salem is where she's from. Temple ancestors, element air. Great ancestress Tatuba was an enslaved Caribbean woman who was the first person accused in the 1692 Salem witch trials. Oh no, I see where this is going. She was most likely kidnapped from the Guyana region in South America and then sold through a Barbados plantation. Tituba's guidance. It is finally safe to be you. You have wandered through a dark night. Your trip has been long. There is light ahead. Your liberation is apparent. Embodiment. You deserve to feel secure. Feeling safe is knowing that your basic needs are met. Feeling safe is feeling at home in your body. Feeling safe is trusting your journey. Feeling safe is feeling free around those you love. Feeling safe is trusting that the sun will rise again. If you, grow, if you grew up emotionally, spiritually, or physically unsafe, reset your default expectations to a healthier vibration. Goddess declaration, I am safe. It is safe to be safe. So you're feeling like there, there's level up with Goddess Yas and Tewa, then the goddess of never not broken and vulnerability being her strength. Living your own life with Lilith, doing you, finding what's right for you, who cares what anybody else says, uh, being divinely chosen as the first woman. And then Tituba saying that now you have an opportunity to level up and do all these things and be empowered because you have this energy of safety, like that the, the darkness is leaving now, the liberation is in sight. So that's your reading. The candle just went out. I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys later. Bye for now.